free Fox Super 6 game. We're, we're doing it this week, back for the entire season. It's not too late to play the Fox Super 6. Just download the Fox Sports app right now and make your picks for a chance to win your share of $10,000 in weekly cash prizes. Just remember, you can win the money by playing Fox Super 6 for free on the Fox Sports app. Play for week two. We have six questions for you, Bear. You're going to have to give us the answer for all these to There's play. A little, a little, a little gambling slash fantasy yeah, hybrid. I like it, it. It goes together here. Okay, the first one. And oh, Bear. by the way, it's free. It is free, and you can win money, which is good to do. Winning money for free. Better than losing these questions. All right, you ready, Bear? I am. Here we go. What will be the outcome of this game? The New York Giants win by six or more points, or Arizona win or lose by five points or fewer? Uh, I'm. I have to take the Giants just because what you saw from Arizona, like like they, Washington tried to give them that game, and Arizona wouldn't take it, and Washington still won the game. By by more than they won that game by by six or more, so I think the Giants as bad as they were last week. I don't think the Giants are great. I think the regression from last year's success, the close win luck, the turnover luck that they had, I think that's obviously going to reverse itself this year. But in this game, I would think the Giants can win by a touchdown. I'm I'm generally with you on that one. Arizona is is, is not very good. The Giants have to have a bounce back. They absolutely have to. All right, now question number two: Which quarterback will throw for the most passing yards? Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Jared Goff, or Geno Smith? Well, it's hard to like lock yourself into an outdoor game because you just don't know about weather sitting here right now on Thursday as we're recording this. But did you see that Seattle defense last week? Yeah. It's in, in, in indoors. I think the Lions have some weapons. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Give me Jared Goff. Jared Goff there. Okay. Number three. What are the quarterbacks who have the most rushing yards from highest to lowest? There's four of them right here. A correct pick, four correct picks, you get 10 points, by the way. Two, you get four, and one, you get you get two. So let's, let's hope for four here. Anthony Richardson, Colts quarterback. Justin Fields, the Bears quarterback. Josh Allen, Buffalo's quarterback, who missed, by the way, his number by half a, half a yard last yeah, week. That was, that was a rough one there. And Lamar Jackson, quarterback of the, of the Ravens here. Uh, who you got uh, from most uh, highest to lowest. I'm going to go Josh Allen just because I think we saw him struggle throwing the ball last week. And I think so much of their offense is him running. So I think he'll have a big game on the ground against okay. the Raiders. So I'm going to go Allen, but I'm going to Justin Fields. I think the Bears will address their offensive play, just their play calling a little bit against the uh, the Bucks down in Tampa. I'll go Justin Fields too. Uh, Anthony Richardson, I'll go third. He was a little, he got, dinged up a little bit in that game. So maybe they're a little more hesitant uh, with him running the ball. And then Lamar Jackson against a team that they're, uh, that the, uh, is familiar with Lamar and his running. And we'll see how that offense kind of evolves. I, I don't think Munkin's offense is really a, a quarterback run type offense. So I will Allen Fields, Richardson, Jackson. All right, let's get to which team will allow the fewest points. Question number four here, the Lions against the Seahawks, no. the Texans against the Colts, the Colts against the Texans or the Giants at the Cardinals. This is the most points. Fewest points. Who fewest, fewest points. points. Number four. Question number four. You see the Cardinals offense last week? <laughs> you see Josh Dobbs at quarterback. You, you see their absolute ineptness moving the ball. It's it's gotta it's gotta be the card. Like I'm surprised the that Giants. You mean Giants defense? Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I'm I'm surprised that the Giants defense offers. The biggest bang for the buck, point wise. There, you get eight points. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's a why it's a uh, a road team. Maybe I don't know. And then maybe the fact that the Giants gave up forty, but it was two of those touchdowns were not offensive, and a couple of them were after the game were long decided. Yeah, give me the give me the Giants defense against the Cardinals. There. Question number five: Order the receivers by who will have the most receiving yards from highest to lowest. We have Mike Evans for Tampa Bay, Baker Amon Ross St. Brown for the Lions, mm-hmm. Puka Nakua. For the Rams, a guy. Brandon Ayuk, who, who had an incredible oh. block on the Christian McCaffrey yes, touchdown. Oh, it was beautiful. It's got spoon treatment for me. I know. Uh, highest to lowest here for the four wide receivers. Maybe that could be a new segment in this pod, spoon treatment. So I'm, we, I'm in. Is there a way we can work that into the show? It's your show, buddy. It's just bare yeah. bets. You can do whatever you want. But you, your, your picture's I'm, I as well. I luckily got on, yes. I will go on Ross St. Brown. Okay. I, I, I think we, I, I, talked about, I talked about with Goff. How I think Seattle pass defense is terrible, so I will go him number one. I think Ayuk will have another big game, but the trouble picking him number one here is that there's so many options yes. in that 49ers offense. Like it's going to be a different guy every week. Mike Evans against 
with Baker Mayfield as his quarterback, like that could be trouble. Not, I don't think he's going to have a massive year with that. Uh, and then Puka Naku, I'm going to put him last only because I think the circumstances of this game, yeah, they are going to be behind, but I think the Niners' defense is so good, and I think the Niners will have a big time of possession advantage as well. So go Brossem Brown, Ayuk, Evans, Nakua. I'm picking on Marseille Brown this year. I hope he, hope he pulls through for you here. Uh, what will be the outcome of this game? Question number six here. Uh, Seattle, win or lose by five points or fewer. The Lions winning by six. I, I think we've made our, our stance on this game known <laughs> all throughout the, the, the pod. Give me the Seahawks plus the points here. I, I think it's a good chance to maybe uh, fade the, the Lions off of a, a little bit of an inflated value. And the tiebreaker, what will be the final score? Of the Seahawks Lions game, what do you got for us, Bear? Ah, time final score. We have to go on the spot here. Hmm. Let's go thirty-one twenty-eight Lions. Thirty-one twenty-eight Lions. All right. Lots of points. Yeah. Last year they had lots of points in this game as well. They did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I think anyone who plays the Seahawks this year are going to get lots of points. Well, that is Bears Fox Super Six entries for this week. Remember, just download the Fox Sports app right now. Make your picks. You can win a share of ten thousand dollars in weekly cash prizes. We need to tag team on this one from now from now on. I'm in. I need to take three. You need to take three. Okay, I'm in. Let's do that. <laughs> this, is, this is a democracy. We're, 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 we're. Hey man, just let me. I'm in. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.